Hello everyone! Welcome to vlog number four. Um, today is September 5th, 2015. And I was just going to let you know about what happened last week. Um, I had a few suggestions to try to get my fiancé Lou in one of my videos. And unfortunately, even though today's Saturday, he's at work. He's starting his planning for his classes for the semester. So he's busy both today and tomorrow. And next week we actually have our wedding photography happening on Saturday, so I'm not sure if he's going to be in the next couple videos, but I'll try to get him in after that. <laughs> hey everyone, sorry for the change of position. Um, I took my tripod down already and I went to my computer to look at the clips that I filmed and I was so horribly ungraceful that I couldn't even show you guys. So I'm here to refilm what I just said. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> So, some of the things you can find at Hofangjie, um, there's lots of traditional Chinese crafts. Um, there's things like jade and pearls, lots of silk um, scarves, silk dresses, uh, what else? There's lots of uh, fans that have like scenery painted on them, pretty much anything. You can also find food, there's lots of food stands, there's drink stands. So without further ado, I thought I'd show you guys what I bought. So first of all, for about two American dollars, I bought hair clips. Um, so this pineapple, as well as a strawberry, and also a watermelon. So they're really cute, and I feel like fruit salad when I wear them. I really like them. <laughs> Also, I bought this embroidered portrait of Westlake, and I'll show it to you guys. So, it has lotuses in the foreground, and willow trees, and a pagoda, and then the Westlake in the background. And it was about $10, which Lou thought was way too expensive, but for me, since I like it, it doesn't really matter to me. And he says it doesn't match our apartment's decor, so I'm going to be putting it in my dorm room. Anyways, I'm really excited about it. So next to Hofangjie, there is this three-story building that has plants and um, Chinese herbal remedies, and the bottom floor is like aquarium and pet stuff. Um, but we went there to look at the plants. It's all like houseplants and tropical type things. Um, there's also things like cacti, succulents, pretty much anything you can imagine, even fake flowers, silk flowers. And I went ballistic, like it was so cool in there. Lou said before we like went in, okay, we're not going to buy anything, we're just looking because he knew I was going to like it so much. And it turns out I did, so here's a video of that. I've just gone into a plant market in Hangzhou. It is so cool. There's like every plant in the universe here. Thank you. 
そうね。I'd show you guys my textbook, Plant Systematics. This is what I've been studying, and I think I'm going to go to a cafe later today. There's this really cute looking cafe that's not too far away. I mean, it's like super chic inside, and it's totally my style. So I want to go there and see if they have good coffee. And I'm going to bring this along to study, because I usually study a little bit every day. And right now I'm up to page 90 something. And I gave up because I saw all these organic chemicals and it made my brain hurt, but I have to keep studying, so this is what I'm doing today. As always, thanks for watching everybody. Um, I hope you're having a good week and I'll see you next time. Bye!